Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I want to show you guys the top pro tips on how to use this frost trap because I know a lot of people don't really know how to use this. It doesn't get kills like normal things or normal traps do. For instance, this trap right here, if somebody runs into it, they'll instantly take damage and die. This one does no damage to people. All it does is impair their movement. As you can see, I have icicles on my feet and if I try running, I can't choose the direction I'm running because I'm just frozen. So it's gonna be a little bit hard to get used to it to try to learn how to do this and how to be good with it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use this frost trap to your advantage. So starting off one is if you're trying to get away from the storm, say for instance, the storm is closing in on us from the west and we have to go east. The best thing you can do is first off, go to your frost traps, build up a little bit and you don't have to go too high because again, you can still take fro uh, fall damage. It's not like you're going to be impaired or never take fall damage because you have the frost or the things on your feet you're always going to take fall damage so one thing you want to do is go ahead and put the stairs down this way and the reason we're doing that is i'll show you why you're going to put this down and you're going to put down one of the frost things at the top of your stairs so you want to rotate your stairs and then once you do that you're going to go one more down and then just constantly spam this the reason you're going to be spamming this is because it gives you a, a thing to travel on that makes you have top speed now you're going to have to have a lot of mats doing this but again look at how fast we can get across the map like let me show you guys I mean, look at how fast we're going. And we can literally change directions. We can go straight. It just takes a little bit of practice. And you can actually get really good at it. As you guys can see, look at how far and fast we're going. And then again, once we run out, we can go ahead and put another one down. Put this down. And then do it again. Now again, when it comes to going uphill, it's going to be a little bit harder because as you can see, we can't really climb uphill because of the, the icicles on our feet. So there's nothing you can do about trying to climb uphill. It's only for downhill movements. So guys, keep in mind that if you're trying to climb a mountain or something like that, that's not the best thing to do. But doing it on a mountain is probably one of the smartest things. For instance, this mountain right here, let me show you exactly why it's better to do it there. So as you can see, say we're on this mountain and we got to get down. So the best thing to do is just add this, add a frosticle, jump, and then activate it. And then you can literally look at this. Look at how fast we're going across loot lake or not loot like a uh, dusty divot it's just extremely quick and you just turn on turbo building and you can constantly do it as long as you want and as far as you want and i mean we're taking some serious distance in under a second like look at how far we got and literally like what 10 seconds which is insane like we can get to the next circle extremely fast and a lot of people are mad that they took got rid of these things right here because these were really good on getting to the next circle and stuff but it's okay that they got rid of that because now we have the new frost things it does use a little bit more mats which does suck but that is just something to keep in mind so if you're ever in the storm and you're like crap we have no launch pad or anything like that it's all good because you guys do have, you might have these frost things. I don't know exactly what they're called. Let me check what they're called. They're called the chiller, the chiller traps. So you do have the chiller traps. So if you do find it, it's okay. You can try and get across the map even quicker with those. So that's one way to use the chiller trap. Now let me show you guys the next thing to do. So for instance, say somebody walks into a house and they end up dying through a trap kill. Like if I put a trap here and someone comes walking in that same door, the front door, my trap will end up doing damage to them and probably end up killing them like so right there but this this chill trap you're not allowed to do like you can put it on the roof i believe yeah you can put it on the roof but the thing is is on the roof it's not going to do any damage to anyone they're just going to come into the the house with no direction like they're not going to be able to control their movement so yeah if you do only have the frost trap it's okay to put it on the roof because the second somebody comes in they're not going to be able to control where they run to or anything like that so you can set up something where you can put it on the roof and let them walk through just like this and they're not going to know what to do and you can literally just set up a free kill just like that that's all you have to do another good thing that you guys can do is say the frost trap is right there if you have a spike trap you can put that right in the next one so when someone walks in they're going to slide directly into the trap because they can't control their movement. As you guys can see, there's only one direction you can go when you walk into the house. So for instance, if I'm trying to walk into this house, I can only do one thing and that's go straight. I can't control anything I do and I literally just get trapped right there on that wall. Another thing that you guys can end up doing is if say we want to take this mountain because it's the last mountain in the circle, it's got high ground. What you want to do is you want to build up to it, but what you can do to stop people from using the same exact ramp that you have, if you don't have spike traps and you only have frost traps, all you have to do is go like this. Put this down, put down a wall, edit that, and you can actually put the freeze trap on that wall. So that way that person ends up running into it and they freeze and they go right back down the hill and die just like that so guys that's another good tip if you're going up a mountain or something like that 
you want to protect your stairs so no one else goes up the same stairs that you went up just go ahead and put a frost trap through a wall sometimes people don't notice it they won't catch it so if they're just trying to run up a mountain trying to get up there quick like i said sometimes they will not notice it because they're looking this way and they end up getting hit and they're like wait what and they'll try to build but they can't and they can end up taking fall damage they can't control themselves they can't get up so it does help out a lot to have the frost trap on the mountain Another thing that you can do is if you have a grappler, you can put down one of the little uh, floorboards, frost trap right there, and just run into it. The second you run into it, grapple your way down to the bottom, and look at how fast you're literally able to run across the lake. You just have so much speed because of the ice on your feet that this is another way if you don't want to waste mats or anything like that. You can just put down a little frost trap and just run across whatever platform you want. The thing is, is anything that's like uphill, you're not going to have a good time getting uphill. But say for instance, we're up on this hill and we want to get all the way over there because this, the next circle is over there. All we have to do is again, like I said, put down one of these. Cross yourself, use your grappler, and you can literally run down this hill avoid trees anything like that and you can get over there pretty quick i mean we're running a lot faster than normal people so getting to the next circle will definitely be a breeze with this it just sucks because we can't go uphill or anything like that and if you don't have a uh grapple gun again like i said all you have to do is just this and you can literally run across the floor you don't have to waste mats and stuff like that this is a, a quicker way to get across but again, the hills are your disadvantage. Like for instance, now, am I even running any faster or am I just going slower? Looks like I'm going slower. But all right, guys, that's basically all you can really do. These frost traps don't have anything special to them. Like there's no way you can trap somebody in a box because if you trap them in a box, say they're down here and you put, you put frost traps on the walls like this and this, it's not gonna kill them. All they're gonna do is they're gonna be down here freaking out. They're not gonna know what to do. They're not gonna be able to control where they run, but they can still easily break down the wall and get out this way. It does impair their movement a little bit. So like literally they're probably just gonna be trapped in here. If you're up here, keep in mind you're gonna end up trapping yourself and there's nothing that both of you can do. So it's literally a lose-lose situation. There's no reason to trap somebody in a box and use it. Because again, you're going to be trapping yourself in the box. But guys, with that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love, all the support. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. I hope these little tips helped you guys out the best that I possibly could. So again, if you're trying to get away from the storm or anything like that, it's a very easy way to, to avoid the storm. Again, like I said, just turn the, the rotate your ramp, put down your trap, and land on it. The second you land on it, you're gonna see, look at how much speed we're getting. We're getting across Dusty Divot in seconds, like literally super, super quick, you guys. And you can you can try to put down a trap again, but I don't suggest doing it. I just suggest constantly running and then doing it again right here. And as you can see, we got across Loot Lake or Dusty Divot that quick, man. It was really easy. But guys, thank you so much for all the love, all the support. I want to give three shout outs to people. Kill me the first, King Tokes, and Paulito for the Twitch Prime subs t earlier today in the live stream. Guys, thank you so much for the welcome back Twitch Prime subs, you guys. It really means a lot to me. And if you guys were not able to make it to the live stream early this morning, don't worry. I'm going to try and live stream again later on today. But that's the schedule. Usually for the live streams, I'm going to be live streaming a long time in the morning. And then in the daytime, I'll do a smaller stream and stuff like that. But thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.